Ancient Greece, the cradle of myths and legends, was home to a diverse world of deities, heroes, and unusual creatures. In this episode, we explore the fascinating mythological beings that brought these stories to life, from brave heroes to terrifying monsters. Let's begin! The Creation of the World in Greek Mythology Uranus's Gaia and the Titans are key figures in Greek mythology, responsible for the creation of the world and the Olympian gods. Their story is fundamental in understanding the origin of the universe according to Greek myths. The sky in Greek mythology was Uranus. According to the ancient Greek creation myth, Gaia, or Mother Earth, arose from chaos, a primordial and disordered state. Gaia then created Uranus, equal to herself, the mountains and the sea. Later Gaia's union with Uranus resulted in several sets of offspring. Uranus thus became the ancestor of almost all Greek gods. Uranus had 18 children with Gaia, known as the Titans, the three Cyclopes, and the three Hecatoncheras. However, Uranus became a tyrant and abused his children, causing Gaia's resentment. Gaia is the personification of Earth in Greek mythology. She is the mother of all living beings and represents fertility and the fruitful land. Gaia became resentful of Uranus' mistreatment of her children and devised a plan to free them. Gaia devised a cunning plan and staged a scene in which her son Cronus overthrew Uranus using a sharp sickle she provided. Cronus dethroned Uranus and took control of the world. This shift in power symbolized the transition from one era to another, marking the evolution of the world. This act liberated the Titans and other gods from Uranus' rule. This tale of Uranus' Gaia and the Titans portrays the complex dynamics among the early deities of Greek mythology, whose actions shaped the destiny of the world and the later Olympian gods. Their story is essential in understanding the origins and hierarchy of deities in Greek mythology. The Titans The Titans are the children of Uranus and Gaia and were the first gods in Greek mythology. Their name translates to creators or begetters. The Titans played a significant role in the creation of the world and were ancestors to many well-known deities, including the Olympian gods. The Titans held immense power and influence in the ancient world. Here are the names of the 12 Titans. Cronus, was the leader of the Titans and the youngest son of Uranus and Gaia. He overthrew his father and ruled during the Golden Age until he was dethroned by his son Zeus. Rhea, was the sister and wife of Cronus. She was a Titaness associated with motherhood and fertility. Oceanus, was the Titan of the great, earth-encircling river Oceanus, representing the ocean that surrounds the world. Tethys, was the wife of Oceanus and the mother of rivers, streams, and clouds. Hyperion, was the titan of light and the father of the sun, Helios, the moon, Selene, and the dawn, Eos. Mnemosyne, was the titaness of memory and was the mother of the nine muses, goddesses of the arts and sciences. Iapetus, was the titan of mortality and the father of several important figures, including Atlas and Prometheus. Themis, was the titaness of divine law and order, often depicted with scales, representing justice. Crius, was associated with constellations and heavenly constellations. Cius, was the titan of intellect and the axis of heaven around which the constellations revolved. Phoebe, was associated with the moon and prophecy. She was the grandmother of Apollo and Artemis. Thea, was associated with shining light and brilliance, and she was the mother of Helios, Selene, and Eos. These twelve titans were part of the early cosmogony and theogony of ancient Greek mythology, shaping the understanding of the universe and its divine beings. They were eventually replaced by the Olympian gods after the Titanomachy, a mythological war between the titans and the Olympians. The Cyclopes in Greek mythology, the Cyclopes were giant one-eyed creatures, known for their exceptional craftsmanship and smithing abilities. They were the children of Uranus, the sky, and Gaia, the earth. There were three Cyclopes, and their names were 
Brontes, whose name means thunder, was one of the Cyclopes. He was known for his strength and craftsmanship. Steropes, meaning lightning, was another Cyclops. Like his brothers, he possessed great strength and skill. Argesh, which translates to bright or shining, was the third Cyclops. He, too, was renowned for his abilities in metalwork and craftsmanship. The Cyclopes played a significant role in Greek mythology. They were skilled blacksmiths and helped the god Hephaestus, Vulcan, forge thunderbolts and other powerful weapons for the gods, including Zeus's famous thunderbolt. The Cyclopes were also involved in the myth of the hero Odysseus, where they trapped him and his men in the cave of Polyphemus, one of the Cyclopes, leading to a famous episode in Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey. The Hecatonche Eras in Greek mythology, the Hecatoncheras, also known as the Centimanes or Hundred-Handed Ones, were enormous beings with 50 heads and 100 arms each. They were the children of Uranus, the sky, and Gaia, the earth. The Hecatoncheras were known for their incredible strength and were considered one of the most powerful beings in Greek mythology. There were three Hecatoncheras in total, and their names were Cadus, he was known for his immense strength and size. Briarius, also known as Aegean. His name means strong or vigorous. Briarius was notable for his multiple arms and overwhelming power. Gyges was the third Hecatonch era. His name means big-limbed or giant. Like his brothers, he possessed incredible strength due to his numerous arms and heads. According to Greek mythology, Uranus feared the power of the Hecatonch eras and, upon their birth, threw them into the depths of Tartarus, a deep abyss beneath the underworld, to prevent them from overthrowing him. Later, during the Titanomachy, the Hecatonch eras were freed by the Olympian gods and played a significant role in the battle against the Titans. Their immense strength and multiple arms were instrumental in the gods' victory over the Titans. The Olympic Gods, Founders and Rulers of Olympus According to Greek mythology, the origin of the Olympic Gods is linked to the Titans, a generation of deities preceding the Olympian Gods. Uranus and Gaia, as previously mentioned, were the first entities in Greek mythology, representing the sky and the earth, respectively. Cronus represents the second generation of deities. Cronus was the son of Uranus and Gaia, and he became the leader of the Titans. Cronus overthrew his father Uranus, symbolizing the transition of power from one era to another. After Uranus's fall, Cronus became the ruler of the world, and his sister Rhea became his wife. However, he was terrified of a prophecy that foretold his downfall by his own child. To prevent this prophecy from coming true, he began devouring his children as soon as they were born. Cronus and Rhea had many children, but Cronus swallowed most of them out of fear of being overthrown. Rhea, disgusted by this act, managed to save her son Zeus by hiding him and giving Cronus a swaddled stone instead of the baby. She had Zeus on Crete, where he was raised by a mountain nymph while Cronus believed he had swallowed him. Zeus grew up and returned to overthrow Cronus. During the Titanomachy, Zeus and the Olympic gods battled the Titans led by Cronus. In the long-lasting war, the Olympic gods emerged victorious and became the rulers of the universe. After his overthrow, Cronus was punished. Zeus sentenced him to eternal torment in Tartarus, a deep underground realm, where he was imprisoned alongside other Titans who had joined him in rebellion against the Olympic gods. After the victory, the Olympic gods divided the world among themselves. Zeus became the king of the gods and the ruler of the sky, while other gods gained dominion over different parts of the world, such as the seas, the underworld, love, war, wisdom. The Olympic gods are central figures in Greek mythology, residing on Olympus, the highest mountain in Greece. Zeus, the king of the gods, ruler of lightning, sky, and thunder, represents justice and order. Son of Cronus and Rhea. Hera, queen of the gods, goddess of marriage, family, and childbirth. Wife of Zeus. Poseidon, god of the sea, earthquakes, and horses. 
brother of Zeus, ruler of the underworld under the seas. Demeter, goddess of fertility, agriculture, harvest, and fertile soil. Mother of Persephone. Hades, god of the underworld, the dead, and wealth. Brother of Zeus and Poseidon. Hestia, goddess of home, hearth, and architecture. Often considered one of the twelve Olympic gods, though she later gave her place to Dionysus. Ares, god of war, violence, bravery, and military skills. Son of Zeus and Hera. Athena, goddess of wisdom, courage, strategy, and warfare. Emerged fully grown and armored from Zeus's forehead, symbolizing rational and wise nature. Apollo, god of light, arts, music, prophecy, archery, and medicine. Twin brother of Artemis. Artemis, goddess of hunting, wilderness, virginity, and animal protection. Aphrodite, goddess of love, beauty, desire, and fertility. Born from sea foam. Hermes, god of trade, theft, travel, sports, communication, and boundaries. Messenger of the gods and guide of souls to the underworld. Dionysus, god of wine, pleasure, ecstasy, madness, and theater. Son of Zeus and mortal Semele. Hecate, goddess of magic, witchcraft, the night, and secrets. Sometimes considered an Olympic goddess, although she wasn't part of the main pantheon. Demigods. Demigods and demigoddesses in Greek mythology have one divine parent and one mortal parent. They are often depicted as beings with some divine powers but not entirely divine like the Olympian gods. Some of the well-known demigods in Greek mythology include Heracles, son of Zeus and mortal woman Alcmene. Heracles is famous for his exceptional strength and heroic exploits, including cleaning the Aegean stables and performing the Twelve Labors. Heracles was born in Thebes, and his mother Alcmene was the wife of the military leader Amphitryon. Zeus fell in love with Alcmene and transformed into her husband to father Heracles. Heracles is renowned for his twelve labors, tasks that include slaying the Nemean lion, cleaning the Aegean stables, capturing the golden hind, catching the Stymphalian birds, cleaning the Aegean stables, again, taming the Cretan bull, and many others. According to myth, Heracles temporarily lost his sanity due to the anger of Hera and committed heinous crimes, including killing his wife Megara and their children. As a result, he had to perform his famous labors to atone for his mistakes. Heracles eventually died due to a poison robe given by his wife Diana. After his death, Zeus took him to Olympus, where he became a god. Heracles is a symbol of bravery, strength, and endurance and is one of the most respected heroes in Greek mythology. Perseus, son of Zeus and mortal woman Danae. Perseus is known for killing the Gorgon Medusa and saving Andromeda from the sea monster Cetus. Perseus is another famous hero in Greek mythology, celebrated for his bravery and adventures. Perseus was born to Danae, the princess of Argos, and Zeus. Legend has it that Perseus was conceived when Zeus visited Danae in the form of a shower of gold. King Acrisius, Danae's father, attempted to avoid a prophecy that predicted his death at the hands of his grandson. Therefore, Acrisius locked Danae and Perseus in a chest and cast them into the sea. Perseus is renowned for his heroic exploits, including slaying the Gorgon Medusa. With the help of Hades' helmet of invisibility, Hermes' winged sandals, Athena's shield, and a sword, Perseus managed to kill Medusa and decapitate her. He later used Medusa's head to turn enemies into stone. Perseus saved Andromeda, the daughter of the Ethiopian king, from the sea monster Cetus. Andromeda was tied to a rock as a sacrifice to Cetus, but Perseus freed her and later married her. When Perseus killed Medusa, a winged horse named Pegasus emerged from her body. Perseus captured Pegasus and used it as a means of transport in his adventures. Perseus returned to Argos, where he accidentally killed his grandfather Acrisius by throwing a discus during athletic games. 
This situation fulfilled the prophecy. Perseus is often depicted as a hero of courage, resilience, and cunning. Achilles, one of the most famous heroes in Greek mythology, whose stories are central in the epic Iliad written by the ancient poet Homer. Achilles was the son of Thetis, a sea nymph, and Peleus, the king of Phaia in Thessaly. Thetis dipped Achilles in the river Styx to make him immortal but held him by the heel, leaving that part vulnerable. Because of this heel, Achilles had a vulnerable spot. Achilles was one of the bravest warriors in the Trojan War, the conflict between the Trojan army and the Achaeans, Greeks, that lasted for ten years. Achilles was the leader of the Myrmidons, brave warriors he brought with him to the war. Achilles clashed with King Agamemnon, the leader of the Achaeans, over the captivity of a girl. Due to this conflict, Achilles decided to withdraw from the battlefield, causing significant losses for the Achaeans. Achilles was known for his intense emotions and friendship, especially towards Patroclus, his best friend. When Patroclus was killed by the Trojan hero Hector, Achilles was filled with rage and decisively returned to the battlefield to avenge his friend's death. Achilles killed Hector, the greatest Trojan hero, in combat. This was a pivotal moment in the Iliad and marked a turning point in the war in favor of the Achaeans. According to myth, Achilles was killed by an arrow shot by Paris, the Trojan prince, guided by the god Apollo. The arrow hit Achilles in the heel, his only vulnerable spot. Helen, also known as Helen of Troy, was a key figure in Greek mythology, especially in the story of the Trojan War. Helen was the daughter of Zeus, in some versions of the myth, or Tyndareus, the king of Sparta, and Leda. She was considered one of the most beautiful women in ancient Greece. Helen married Menelaus, the king of Sparta. Their wedding was grand, and Helen's hand was sought by many princes and heroes from Greece. According to myth, Helen was abducted by Paris, the prince of Troy, while she was still married to Menelaus. Paris chose Helen's beauty as the greatest gift after Zeus presented him with a choice between wisdom, strength, and beauty. Helen's abduction by Paris triggered the Trojan War. Menelaus, her husband, gathered allies from Greece and went to war against Troy to bring Helen back. The war lasted ten years and was the central event described in Homer's epic poem Iliad. After the fall of Troy, Helen returned to Sparta with Menelaus. Some myths suggest they lived happily together, while others imply that Helen died shortly after their return. Helen is a symbol of beauty, and her story is one of the most well-known and dramatic episodes in Greek mythology. Theseus, son of Aegeus, the king of Athens, and Aethra. Theseus was famous for killing the Minotaur and his adventures in the labyrinth. Theseus was a hero from Greek mythology, known for his brave exploits and adventures. Theseus was the son of Aegeus, the king of Athens, and Aethra, the queen of the Greek city of Treason. His name derives from his mother's father, King Treason. Theseus became famous when he volunteered to join a group of young men and women sent as human sacrifices to the Minotaur in the labyrinth of Crete. Ariadne, the daughter of King Minos, fell in love with him and provided him with a ball of thread, Ariadne's thread, so he could find his way out of the labyrinth after defeating the Minotaur. Theseus successfully navigated the labyrinth, defeated the Minotaur, and escaped with the help of Ariadne. He abandoned her on the island of Naxos, which led to a series of events involving gods and goddesses. Theseus eventually became the king of Athens by pulling his sword out from under a large rock, a task that proved his rightful claim to the throne. He then united the various tribes of the region into a single state, Athens. Theseus was involved in several other adventures, including his quest for the Golden Fleece with the Argonauts, his battle with the Amazonian Queen Hippolyta, and his friendship with the Lapiths, a group of legendary people. His later life was marked by tragedy, including the death of his son Hippolytus and his own exile from Athens. Theseus is remembered as a national hero of Athens and a symbol of bravery and heroism. His adventures have been widely depicted in art and literature, making him a prominent figure in Greek mythology.
Mythical Creatures The Nemean lion was one of the first monsters that Heracles encountered in his famous labors, known as the Twelve Labors of Heracles. According to the myth, the Nemean lion was a huge monster with invincible fur that terrorized Nemea, near Argos. The lion was the offspring of Typhon and Echidna, famous Greek monsters. The Nemean lion was deadly to both humans and animals because it could not be harmed by conventional weapons due to its impenetrable fur. Heracles managed to defeat this lion-like monster by catching it with his bare hands and strangling it. He then used the lion's own claw to cut off its head. After killing the Nemean lion, Heracles wore its impenetrable fur as a cloak that protected him from enemies in his subsequent adventures. The Minotaur, in Greek mythology, was a monster with the head of a bull and the body of a man. It was kept in the labyrinth on Crete, which was built by the cunning craftsman Daedalus for King Minos. The Minotaur was the offspring of Queen Pasiphae and a bull, which was a gift from the sea god Poseidon to King Minos. The Minotaur was carnivorous and fed on people sent into the labyrinth as sacrifices by Minos. These people would become hopelessly lost in the labyrinth due to its complex structure until the Minotaur found and devoured them. Theseus, a hero from Athens, decided to confront the Minotaur. Using cunning and the help of King Minos' daughter, Ariadne, Theseus managed to enter the labyrinth with a thread he used to find his way back. When he encountered the Minotaur, a battle ensued. Theseus eventually triumphed, killing the Minotaur and freeing the Athenians from its terrifying threat. Centaurs are mythical creatures from Greek mythology that combine human and horse characteristics. They have human heads, arms, and upper bodies, but the lower part of their bodies is that of a horse, including legs and a tail. Centaurs were often depicted as wild and barbaric, but also possessed the ability to speak and intelligence. Centaurs were often portrayed as conflicted beings who frequently clashed with humans and other mythological creatures. There are different stories where centaurs played a role, but they are most famous for their involvement in the battle with the Lapiths, where they attended a wedding feast and caused chaos. This battle has been depicted in many artworks and literature. One of the famous centaurs is Chiron, who stood apart from other centaurs due to his wisdom and kindness. Chiron was known as a teacher and sage, often advising heroes from Greek myths. Medusa is one of the most famous monsters in Greek mythology. According to the myth, Medusa was one of the three gorgons, monsters with snake-like tails and snakes instead of hair. The gorgons were sisters, and Medusa was the only mortal among them. Her ability to turn people into stone with her gaze was known as Medusa's gaze. In the myth, Medusa was once a beautiful woman who offended the goddess Athena. In some versions of the myth, Medusa was a priestess in Athena's temple and was renowned for her beauty. However, in other versions of the myth, Medusa boasted about her beauty and angered Athena. As punishment, Athena transformed Medusa and her sisters into gorgons. Later in mythological stories, the hero Perseus was tasked with killing Medusa. He received help from the gods Hermes and Athena. Hermes gave him winged sandals, and Athena gave him a mirror so he could see Medusa without directly looking at her and thus avoid her petrifying gaze. Perseus managed to approach Medusa and, using his shield as a mirror, avoided her gaze while he cut off her head. When Medusa was slain, a winged horse named Pegasus sprang from her severed head, becoming famous in Greek mythology. Perseus used Medusa's severed head as a weapon in his later adventures, using it to turn enemies into stone. Harpies are mythical creatures from Greek mythology typically described as birds with female heads. They were depicted as storm spirits, carriers of the storm winds, and were often considered omens of bad luck. Harpies were often described as unattractive, dirty birds with human faces that would snatch food or children, carrying them far away from their parents. In Greek mythology, harpies were the descendants of Thaumas, the son of the sea god Poseidon, and an ocean nymph. They were named Aello, Swift, Osipete, Rapid, and Selino, Dark. 
Harpies were often associated with storms and swift winds, representing a force of nature. Cerberus, also known as the three-headed dog, is a monster from Greek mythology. It is a three-headed, serpent-tailed dog that guards the entrance to the underworld, known as the Underworld or Hades. Cerberus is the offspring of Typhon and Echidna, two fearsome monsters from Greek mythology. In mythology, Cerberus is set as the guard of the gates of the underworld, ensuring that the souls of the deceased remain inside and that no living person can enter or exit. It was one of the first monsters that Heracles had to defeat as part of his heroic tasks. During his visit to the underworld as one of his tasks, Heracles managed to subdue Cerberus and bring it to the surface. Cerberus is often depicted as a massive dog with three heads and a serpent tail. The Hydra is a monster from Greek mythology that was part of Heracles' labors. The Hydra was a ten-headed serpent with poisonous breath and the ability to grow two new heads every time one was cut off. Its main head was immortal, while the other heads were deadly. Heracles was tasked with killing the Hydra as part of his heroic labors. To defeat the Hydra, Heracles devised a clever tactic. Whenever he cut off one of the heads, he immediately cauterized the wound to prevent the growth of new heads. With the help of his nephew Iolaus, who used burning torches to cauterize the wounds, Heracles managed to defeat the Hydra. In one version of the myth, Heracles sealed the last immortal head of the Hydra under heavy boulders, rendering it permanently incapacitated. The battle with the Hydra is considered one of Heracles' most challenging labors due to its regenerative abilities. Heracles used his resourcefulness and bravery to overcome this dangerous monster, further solidifying his fame as a revered hero in Greek mythology. Sirens are creatures from Greek mythology often described as beautiful women with the upper bodies of humans and the lower bodies of fish. Sirens were known for their enchanting voices, which they used to lure sailors and travelers. Their singing was so mesmerizing that sailors would be hypnotized and drawn towards the shore, where their ships would meet disaster. In Greek myths, sirens were often associated with death and danger. They were considered dangerous creatures that lured sailors to their deaths. In Homer's Odyssey, the hero Odysseus passed by the sirens but was tied to the ship's mast to avoid them. Also, in Greek Roman mythology, sirens were often depicted as fearful creatures facing death if they failed to entice sailors. Thank you for joining us on our journey through the fascinating world of Greek mythology. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, exploring the stories of gods, heroes, and monsters that form the essence of this ancient mythology. If you liked this video, don't forget to rate it and leave a comment below with your thoughts. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to not miss out on future videos about mythological stories, history, and much more. Thanks again for your support. See you in the next video.